If you want to get paid by credit cards from people on the internet, you're probably going to need a payment processor. Now, I did two videos. The last two videos I did was interviewing an expert on payment processors, but in this video, I'm just going to apply for and open a Stripe account. Stripe is one of the easiest payment processors to open. It's talked about all the time, but I don't think I've actually opened an account on a video for you guys. So I'm gonna share my screen and try and do it as efficiently and quickly as possible. Now, I used the same email that I was using before. I already had an account, so we're gonna go through it. I'm gonna share my screen, but basically when you go to stripe.com, I would probably use a USB PN, so you're signing up from the US side. You click create a new account, you need an email, password, your full name, and then you like log in, you verify your email, and then you get to the page that I'm gonna show you. So I'm skipping those steps because I already have an account created and I have so many emails, guys, you're killing me. I can't make any more emails. You can see, I have an account here. I'm, I created this account and I had one $2,000 payout and they paused until my uh, requirements are met. You have all these accounts on here. I've had a bunch closed. I get paid from people all over the world and it's high risk. And I don't know, Stripe's annoying. They close a lot of accounts. Maybe I'm not the best one to follow, but you'll learn what not to do. And I've learned a lot on getting accounts closed. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is create a new account. And this is the same process you're gonna be going through. We're gonna call this after the name of the LLC that we got on here on the other page. This is our LLC, account one. And this is country operation, United States. Sweet, now we get to do the application. We're gonna have to upload the documents, provide the verification. Um, great, so it has it on here. I need to complete my profile, fine. Let's see what we got. Business, type of business, company. Business structure, single member LLC, multi member LLC, private corp, whatever. We have a single member LLC, very simple stuff. Great. Legal business name, bang, it's on there. The EIN number is this. Now, business address. Now, I was using a stupid um, Regis address, it was giving me problems. So, I got a different address I'm going to use. Great. And then now, industry. We're going to do accounting, auditing, or tax prep. Sure, I guess that works. <laughs> Hey, stock image lady. Hey, oh, there he is. Look at that, it's from, uh, look at that, it had hair in that one, that's nice. It has a different address on here, like the main address, have the main email, fine. Not much on here though, pretty basic website. So you can see we can get away with here. Control V, fine, product description. I consult with, and you wanna put as much information on here as possible. Um, and like it says, one to two cents description, make sure to note when you charge your customers. My customers, pay me for consultations. We send out invoices and they pay before the call. I have 100% satis, sat, uh, satisfaction guarantee. So we'll happily refund if I can't answer the questions. Additionally, we do monthly accounting services. Great. Um, those are billed on a recurring basis. You want to be as accurate as possible because if what you do doesn't match when they review your account, they'll suspend you, whatever. They'll, they'll freeze you up. You guys know me as James Baker, pretty standard. No birthday cards. Blur me out birthday. So home address, you can put a, if you have, a, if you live outside the U.S., you can put a, any foreign address here, right? So I'm gonna put my actual address here because it's I'm all over the internet, it's easier that way. Also phone number, you can do any country code, phone number, as you can see on the drop down. And for the social security number, you can do a government issued ID instead and you can also pick your country. Again, I'm a stupid American, so I'm just gonna put in my regular American details here. Now public details for customers, but I wanna see, um, can Stripe support um, restricted, countries and businesses with Stripe. So this is important to have prohibited and restricted businesses. So Stripe has this on here. Um, they have prohibited businesses, restricted businesses, jurisdiction specific prohibited businesses. This is it, right? You can't sell alcohol or mortgage consulting if you're a Canadian. You can't sell this kind of stuff if you're from Brazil. But they'll work with people from all the countries. Their risk stuff is on them, but if you're Mexican, you can't do digital marketing travel, whatever that means. And you also can't do search engine optimization, which is kind of crazy. So if, check this out and just confirm. Like from the US, we should have one, the United States, I can't sell extended warranties, 
mortgage consulting, shipping, or freight forwarding without prior authorization, or medical benefit packages not from the government. But it's not that much, honestly. It's kind of what you would expect. It's not that much, you can check it out. So let's go back to this. Add public details for customers. This is what's gonna show in their credit card statement. You want it to show what you, who you are. MyGlobalAccount.com sounds good. MyGlobal, we'll do that short, whatever. Customer support number, this is the number they're gonna get on the statements. And then customer support address, your main business address is great. Now, we have to add an account for payouts. I think I did, I opened a bank at Novo. I really like Novo. I'm trying to see if I can work with my, my non-resident clients at Novo Bank. I'm gonna see if I can log in using this prompt and if you guys can follow along. Nice, so this is really helpful to have an account open. Connect account. Done. Okay, so I connected an account. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to continue and that helps to actually connect a real bank account. If you can't, then there's ways to um, connect the bank details. Tax calculation. Now automate, automate tax calculate, um, collection. Now this is tough. Product category. We're going to put tangible goods, services, or electronically survived services. You want to be actually close on this. Uh, electronically supplied service and will monitor the registration thresholds for free. So you wanna be accurate and it's gonna tell you when you pass tax thresholds for a state. Are you committed to the climate? I don't know what they're doing with this money, so I'm not gonna give them any money. I don't understand why I would give them 1%. Now we're going through the business details, we're going through my public details, we're going through my personal details, sweet, and we're going to agree and submit. That's the application. Now what usually happens is they wait and they eventually are gonna request me to upload some documents. Look, I'm active and I'm good, I'm rolling, but I need to actually run some sales. So I would definitely recommend running some test sales. You don't wanna just charge someone $20,000. You wanna do start with a couple hundred dollars, a couple hundred dollars, use it for a couple weeks. You, want, you need to warm it up. You cannot just start charging someone. I, I opened a Stripe account, beautiful application, filled it out, and then I just sent out two invoices for like some big consulting package, some big service packages for a bunch of stuff. And basically I got <laughs> like $15,000 locked up in Stripe for a year. And it was like really annoying. But, and now with Stripe, I mean, I don't use the actual Stripe that much, but if you want to send an invoice, you go to products, you go here, you can create an invoice and you can send it to someone right away, cut you out a customer. It's pretty clean, it's pretty easy, they pay, and then the money just automatically goes in your bank account. It's pretty sick. So Stripe's a great tool to use. Now if you get, you should have backups, you should see what works best for your business. Watch the prior videos I did if you're considering doing Stripe and you're concerned about it. I have other videos that are really good that go over the pros and cons of using Stripe, how not to get Stripe shut down, what to do if your Stripe account does get shut down, and this one's just how to open a Stripe account. So I hope it was useful. If you wanna do this with me and the team and make sure you have all the documents you need and get your tax filings done correctly, of course you can reach out. I do these videos to help you guys doing it yourself and also to connect with people who wanna to pay to get it done correctly and not deal with it. That's definitely the kind of person I am, but I'm happy to help. See you in the next video.